Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tim's Vintage World. Now, this is my giveaway video. I recently got over 100 subscribers. I think I'm at uh, 119 at the moment. So thank you all for subscribing. Um, so I'm gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna show the stuff I'm giving away later. First, I'm gonna show you some pickups I made recently. Uh, it's either eBay stuff or um, I went to the flea market yesterday and I did pick up a couple of pieces. Nothing world shocking, but uh, yeah, it was too good to leave behind. So first of all, I bought this online. I got it from eBay. It was the only bidder, so I got a good deal on it. This is an uh, LJN Dungeons Advanced Dungeons and Dragons figure. This is uh, Zarak, so he's one of the, the bad guys. He does come with his dagger, so that's always nice. And it comes with a little leaflet. Just, uh, it's not a comic, it just shows what kind of figures there are. It's all in German. So, because I bought it in, in Germany, uh, I didn't know there were this much, this many figures. Because I have these two here at the at the top, and I have the wizard as well, but there are still many to go. So, uh, yeah, that's, he's in good condition. So there is a little bit of uh, paint wear. That's what you can expect from an 80s figure. But as you can see, he is a really nice figure. And I think he's complete. I don't think he had anything else except the dagger. It doesn't show anything else on the picture, so... Uh, put this aside. Oh yeah, I'm wearing my new Sabaton uh, t-shirt and cap. If you guys like history and heavy metal check them out check them out because they are I, I really like them they sing metal songs about war about uh famous people from the war soldiers heroes uh famous battles so i really like them and they came to belgium a week or two ago i wasn't able to visit uh, I was here in Germany but a friend of mine he went and he got me the cap because uh, I really wanted it so for once you will see another cap uh, besides the Chicago Bulls one ones I always wear uh, now another thing I got now this is a little bit it's history and it's a little bit of uh, toys because I got this uh, Jurassic Park. It's one of the metal figures. It's the Carnosaurus, no, Ceratosaurus. So he looks to be in really good condition. So uh, I just picked up a bunch of stuff and, and it was one euro, so I threw it in. Now the main item why I bought from this guy is this one. This is a Chips uh, Migo figure. So this is John, I believe. And these are almost impossible to find. Is it, is it Migo? Yeah, Migo, 1980. It's a little bit, diff little bit difficult to, to read. He is in great condition. Uh, I don't see too much paint wear. He is a little bit loose. But it's it's like the G.I. Joe style figures. So if, if it breaks, I can just put in another rubber band and he will be he will be in uh, perfect shape again. Because he is really looking really good. It's just a screw on the back that's a little bit rusted, but uh, other than that, I was surprised to find this because this guy was selling like this stuff. So 
I bought this old picture of German soldiers and an old uh, book. It's a storybook and they were distrib distributed um, to the, the troops at the front. It's like a field post. So it's like a, a, a mobile library. Um, so this is old, this is Second World War. And since I like sec the, the Second World War and, and the stories and such behind, not the ideology. So uh, these were just German troops and it's a really old picture. So he was selling th this stuff, but I found a chips figure, which is really, really cool. Yeah, I, I've never seen one over here. So uh, not, not online, not on flea markets, anywhere. Now, this is the stuff I picked up at the flea market. First thing I found was this Ghostbusters ghost. Now this one does have paint wear and he is missing the, the wire to trigger him to, to roll. So I don't know it's, if it still works, but uh, I'm always happy to, to see something action figure related on, on the flea markets over here because it's, it's really hard to find something. So this was my first pickup. I paid one euro. I spent a total of four euros. So that's not real, really bad. Other thing is, again, Second World War. This is about historical planes. This won't interest you, interest you guys, but uh, just a neat little plate with a Junkers 52 plane on it. So this is also 80s, so it is vintage. And then the last thing I found were three little, really little tiny pieces. And it's these two micro machines. You can see it. They are in good condition. This one is a little bit bigger. So I think he had some kind of function. I don't think it would. It, because some of them used to uh, light up. The headlights would work. But this one. I have no idea, but it is Galoop, 1990, so it is a micro machine. He is heavier as well, so maybe yeah, it had some kind of function. Maybe with some of the play, one of the play sets. But anyway, and the last thing I got was this McDonald's toy, it's the hotcakes. It's one of those transformers or. How do you call it? And this one is like, it's like a pterodactyl. Again, I paid one euro for all, for the two micro machines and this. I just picked it up because you don't see it very often. I didn't even know, uh, they were available over here in Europe as well. I thought it was only for the for the States. He was in pretty good condition. So these were my flea market pickups. I always watch those channels like nostalgic and everything. And, and, and I always see bags full of good stuff. And then I'm all excited to go to the flea market here. And then this is a good day at the flea market here. So usually you don't find anything, but uh, yeah, at least I'm, I didn't went, went uh, in vain. Oh, another thing I picked up online is this car. It's the end captor. I still have to do some research because I don't really know much about it. This is a 
Poppy Bandai from the 80s. It is a metal car, so uh, it's quite heavy. It's good quality. It is missing some pieces because I think there was a cannon here on top. There is a seat missing and there were two things coming out of here. And they had a function with flip. There were figures as well, but uh, yeah, it's just this car. I thought it was kind of funky, it was special, so again, only bitter, so I didn't pay that much. It also has this function, so it shoots. The functions still work, here's it's missing one of the lights here as well. If you guys know anything about it, please let me know. I think this is more of the era of... Uh, Goldorak, Mazinger, those Shogun series. I think it's it's because everything is written in uh, Japanese on the bottom. PA95 Japan is the only thing I can read, and other all the rest is Japanese. Now I speak four languages, but Japanese is not amongst them. So, but again, another cool little find. So. I think we'll just go ahead and start with uh, the giveaway. What do you guys think? Um, I'm gonna give away two prizes. Also two, there will be two winners. Um, as you know, this is a vintage channel. I only collect vintage. So it's not mint in box or these aren't, uh, and I'm a small channel, so I have 100 subs, so which I'm really happy about, but uh, I'm not sponsored or anything, so this is just stuff I have either double or that doesn't fit in my collection anymore. Um, so we're gonna start with the second prize. The second prize will be these G.I. Joe figures. But these are the the anniversary figures. So these are 1990, let's just check his butt, 1996 Hasbro. So this is Duke, I think. And then we have, I think this is Snake Eyes, yeah, this is Snake Eyes. He comes with a sword and some accessories. And then we have Cobra Commander. So these are the, I think it's six inch, the, the, the larger G.I. Joe figures, like the, the ones from the 60s. Um, they are a little bit, it's, it's like a, a crossover between the original G.I. Joes and the, the later Action Man figures from the, the 90s and the 2000s. Um, but these are way cooler than than the action uh, action man figures. There's also this little dog tag. This is one is this is for snake eyes. So just put it around. There is also this is for Cobra Commander. It's a knife. And then we have the stand for one for the figures. There's only one stand, so... It's probably like this, but... We'll have to adjust him a little bit to make him stand. Either way... It's a stand for the figures. His boots don't really fit in. But uh, yeah, there's also this suitcase which contains weapons. So there's a, a handgun. This is probably a um, Cobra case because it says things to do, conquer the world. 
There is this uh, a handgun which looks like a Luger and then another knife. And then we have two, oh, there's another a holster and two machine guns. This one doesn't work. The batteries are dead. Because this one used to, and there's one of these was working a while ago, but uh, the, the batteries are gone. So this is, this is the second prize. So we have these three G.I. Joe figures. Oh, they just won't stand. Snake Eyes, Cobra Commander, and Duke, along with all the uh, accessories. So, uh, yeah, good luck. Hope you like these uh, prizes. I don't know, I usually watch other channels doing giveaways and they're mostly in the States, so they find other stuff than, than we over here. Now, my girlfriend was telling me you're just giving away old stuff, old junk, which is for some people is junk, for some people it's gold. Um, but she was saying like, why don't you give something new as well? But I am a vintage channel, so I did, I made a uh, compromise. So I'm gonna give away along with these and with uh, the first prize winner, I'm gonna give away two matchbox cards now i compromised because these are matchbox and these are classic vehicles we have a 74 volkswagen this is like the kubelwagen and we have a 76 international scout 4x4 and a 61 ford ranchero and a 75 Chevy Caprice. So that way it's a little bit vintage, even though it's new. Uh, I'm just gonna throw them in randomly. So um, it will be a surprise, a surprise which one you'll get. Two will go with the second prize and two will go with the first prize. So let's just put these aside. And go ahead now the contest is open to anyone so uh, anyone in the world anywhere in the world um, if you win I will ship it to you um, I pay for shipping but if customs charges you anything I will put a low a gift on it and I will put a low value on it but um, if you have to pay customs that's that's for you I'll just pay for shipping um, but like I said just Anyone can play. Um, I'm gonna just just gonna tell you the things. So you have to be subscribed to my channel, of course. Uh, second of all, uh, you have to leave a comment. Uh, what do you think of the pickups, the videos, and what's your favorite price? Because I can keep it keep it a little bit. I can keep it in mind if you win. Um, if you really like this and you don't want the other stuff, and you're you're a winner, then then uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just keep it in mind. If you're second prize winner, if you're the first prize winner and you, you can choose actually. So first prize gets this pick and then uh, either this or the other stuff. And then the second one you will get, yeah, you'll get uh, the other prize. I think that's the fairest to do because if you, it's, it's hard if you, uh, to win something, to win a contest. So if you win, I think you should be able to choose your prize. Now, for the main prize, it's just a little bit of, it's a mixture of mixture of things. These are some random figures, vintage figures. And uh, we're gonna start with 
a nice um, Power Ranger, the Blue Ranger. Now, it does look like this one went back in time and spent some time with the wrong friends during the 40s. So, uh, it's a weird function. But he isn't. He does have some paint wear, but he is in good condition. The logo on his chest is uh, visible. There is almost no, there are almost no scratches on it, so he's in good condition. He is missing his weapon. Uh, second is this Dino Riders Monoclonius. This one comes without accessories because I don't have accessories for it. Not even for the one in my collection. Uh, its function works. So this is the one I had as a kid and I still have one so uh, that's why it's in the in the bag. Then we have this Street Sharks figure. I think it's a Ripster. So uh, another vintage figure. We have a Dick Tracy figure. I have no idea what it's what his name is. And then we have two mask figures. This one is a uh, Matt Tracker, but in a different outfit. And this one is the driver from Vampire, I think, the, the red motorcycle. Now, um, this looks like it's more, but like, like I said, I'm vintage. I collect vintage, so for me this has more value than this, because it's older. And uh, it's really the stuff I collect. G.I. Joe, I collect the really old ones or the, the smaller ones from the 80s. Um, like I said, I'm going to pick the winner for the first prize. And you can leave your preference down below. Just leave you, leave the comment that you want to play for, uh, that you want to participate in the contest, and what you want most. Then the second winner, you will get what's left. Um, I'm gonna. This is the first time I've ever done a giveaway, so uh, we're just gonna do a random comment picker, and then we'll just see how it goes. I'll just wait like. A week or two or just wait till I'm back in Germany um, to do uh, the other win other video to to announce the winners and yeah you'll just uh, you'll get not notified when you're a winner and just contact me leave your uh, your address and everything and we'll just go from there now that's it for this video so once again, if you want to participate in the contest, you have to be subscribed to my channel, you have to like the video, and uh, you have to leave a comment what you think of it and which prize you want most. That's it. So thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe if you haven't done already, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.